Hey guys, doing this deal from any reviews. I'm about to juice with the uh, Noma J2. This will be my first time using it. Sorry, I'm sweaty. I've just been outside um, cooking my my, uh, my meal for the week outside of my Blackstone. I normally cook on Saturdays and juice on Saturdays for the week. And I usually cook my meal for the week out, outside of my Blackstone. I can do everything at once, do my vegetables, my protein, and, and, and another vegetable. So it's, it's quicker and faster to do it on the griddle. So I'm sweating bullets. I've been outside. It, it's hot out here. Again, Dale from Indie Indie Reviews, I want you guys to see the process of how I juice. This is my webcam recording on my Chromebook. I usually don't use this, and, and, and usually when I use it, I'm in my studio, so forgive me if the sound or the audio quality isn't really what it, you know, what it, what it usually is. You know, understand the, the, the circumstances. I'm in my kitchen showing you my process of juicing. I'm not in my studio. Right here, I just took all the pieces from the Noma J2 out of the box. It's a pretty big box, actually. It's right here. It is a massive box. One of the things that I will say that I like about the J2 off the rip is that everything was packaged in each individual box, a small box of its own. So that's one thing I like about it. And it comes with an actual, it comes with a different smoothie strainer than the actual one. It's because they have one already in it, already a strainer. Then it comes with an actual smoothie strainer. I guess you can want to do smoothies or whatever. You know, when you push it down, vegetables or fruits, and you're juicing to catch it and to, to actually catch the juice and to catch the, the, the pulp, the actual juicer. Now, one of the things I will say is that you've all who've watched my video, I did a review, a, a review um, on the CF BF juicer, cold fresh juicer that I got off Amazon and the cannoli um, juicer. Um, well, I mentioned the cannoli juicer, but I did an updated review on my YouTube page. And one of the things that I mentioned was that the cannoli and the BF CF cold press juicer, the actual base for it felt light. It felt empty, like nothing was in it. This is heavy. This is, this is really heavy. I feel like if you drop this, you probably do some damage. So that's off the, off the break. That's one of the things that I will say is that I bought two of the best juicers on Amazon um, after using them for about a week and a half. You know, for those who've seen that video, um, I'll, I'll leave a link to that in the description. The, the, uh, is this CFBF or RIF CFI? I'll leave a link to it in the description. And the Kenobi juicer, cold press juicer, they both died on me within two weeks and I ended up ordering um, a, 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 another another model has sent to me, but both of them, they, the other models died as well. So I just don't think that they're, they're built to handle the uh, the quality that I was juicing. I, I, you know, I, I juice about a gallon to a gallon and a half a week. So uh, I just wanted to say that on the break. That's one of the things that I noticed that really was like, oh my goodness, the, the base is heavy. It's heavy. Not like the, not, not like those cheap juices on Amazon. You know, it's, it's heavy. So I was going to do a video of just assembling it, but it already really came assembled. You just, you just gotta put this on here, but I'll still do it for the sake of the video. I'll figure that out. Oh. No, I like that. Here, with the juice go with that. So, I also like that the cord can come off, and come on. That's kind of that's kind of neat. So if you're storing it somewhere, you don't have to worry about um, like the cord kind of wrapping the cord up around the thing. You just you can just take it off and just put it in, in the drawer in your kitchen somewhere. It's probably what I'll do. I have a plug right here. You can't see it. Go. That's on. So let me get my fruit and vegetables prepared, and I'll um, I'll bring you guys back in my kitchen and you. I could, okay, so we're back. 
Today I'm going to be juicing uh, apple, carrot, lemon, ginger juicer. It's a recipe that my wife picked out from her juicing book recipe book. It is a um, it's a it's a body detox, a body cleansing juice. From what she told me, so I'm, I'm, I didn't look it up for myself, so I'm not sure. I trust my word, my, my wife's word for it. I like it. The Noma it actually does come with a juicing book. I was looking for it, see if it's on my counter somewhere, but it actually does come with a. Uh, I don't see. It. Um, I'll show you before the video goes off. Maybe it does come with a juicing recipe book, and you know that, that, that's always good. So real quick, I put my juice. I cut my I cut my fruits up. I put them in a bowl. I'll put them in here, and once, while this is going, I'll usually cut up some more fruits and vegetables because once I put it in here, it's just a waiting game. So while I'm, while I'm waiting, I can do that. Because at first I would just cut it all at once, but then I realized I'd be waiting for like I'd be waiting for the juice, and I was like, you know what? Let me not just ju cut everything up, uh, up at once. Let me just cut some of the stuff up, and then I'll um, put some in here. And while it's going, I'll cut the rest of the stuff up. And after that's done, after the, the juice goes into the juicer thing, and I'm going to show you guys. Don't worry about. It. I want to explain it to you first. Um, I'll pour the juice from in here into my bowl that I have. A, a strainer and once the juice is strained through here I'll pour it in my juice pitcher and um and that's normally that's my process you know I, I, I'll cut the fruit vegetables put it in here let it, let it juice when it's done juicing I'll pour it in a bowl in a strainer that's it, that's attached to a bowl then I'll pour it in my juice container from there and do it all over again until I've got my gallon, gallon and a half of juice for the week. So let's give it a go real quick. This is a ginger. I don't want to do it too big. Last time I made the mistake of putting the big piece of ginger in there. And man, it was spicy. My family was like, yeah, we're not drinking this juice this week. But like, that's fine. I drank it, but it, 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 was, it was spicy. But... but the ginger is also good for the winter time too. I, I, I tend to drink a lot of ginger in the winter time um, with different things. So Off the bat, I'll tell you, it juices faster than the ones that got off Amazon, which was the, the two top selling ones off Amazon. And I didn't get them to review, by the way. I got them to use them, but they ended up um, after, like I said before, after I used them for a while, they ended up stopped working. So, um, but and with the with the juices on Amazon, the the pulp would come out real slow. Like, and sometimes it even even get stuck in here. I'd have, to, I'd have to get a knife and kind of scrape it out. But with this right here, it it, it, it juices a lot faster. And the pulp is just, you see, it's just spitting out. So I'm, I'm not really used to that. I'm used to this pulp coming out like real slow. Put some more stuff in there. One of the things I think that makes the juicer more effective is that the ones that I had before, they just had an otter. They didn't have a, this one has a blade and this, so I guess it chops the fruit up 
and then then the order is easier for the order to kind of squeeze it. Like the other ones, it was advertised as you could put a whole apple or a whole carrot in there, and you could, but it would struggle to to uh, to juice it. And I think having that blade in there, it's a plastic blade, but it's hard. But having that blade to chop it and having the the, the, the order to, to then grind it, it's actually making it. A, a, a lot more effective than just having an otter in there trying to squeeze a whole apple and sometimes it would be, be stuck. So it's just, this, is a, this is a much better process um, and experience than what I'm used to with the, with the ones I had, had before. And I know um, some people, they actually do Either use the pulp for comp, put it in compost, or use it as compost. Put it in your soil with dirt, or some people also, depending on what it is. Like um, I know, if you juice on the apples, the pulp actually is sweet. So if you want to just make your own applesauce with the with the, if you want to juice apple with this, and make your own applesauce, or make your own pear sauce, or mango sauce, you can. So you can do that. Some people do that. I don't do that because I mean I, I don't eat applesauce, so you know what's the point. But it, it, it is nice knowing that, you know, you have some people that they're like, well, I use I use the peelings. I use everything. Like some people, like, they'll cut the orange. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, orange too, but they'll cut the, um, they'll cut the lemon and the orange um, fruits and they'll keep the peelings and put the peelings on like um, chicken or steak and put it in the oven. I watch videos on that. Why? Well, I mean, like I said, I, I've never done it before. I wouldn't see myself doing that. But I mean, I think if it's something that you want to do, it's neat to be able to do that. And it's also neat that people are not, they're not looking to be wasteful, you know? So you always appreciate that. But who knows, one day you might be in a position or a predicament where you can't actually, you gotta save every little thing that you got. So I kinda, kinda I kinda, you know, I value that people who have that, that kind of mentality. What am I, strainer? Yeah. It's the real deal. It's the real deal. What is that look at while I'm over here? Got different recipes. Can you see that? That's neat. It's a it's a pretty thick book. It's like in the back it has the index where it actually tells you what each fruit and vegetable does. But this is about 55 pages. So that's not bad, you know. So thanks for watching the video. Turn the camera around. Thanks for watching the video, the Noma J2 Juicer. I'll probably do another video um, of me just talking about it and my experience with it later on um, as I've used it more. Again, because it's the only point of reference I have is I'll keep comparing it to the juicer that I bought off uh, um, Amazon, which were the two top selling juicers, cold press juicers cannoli and the uh, CFBF cold press juicers um, that my experience with it and how you know the, off the break my first my, my first time using this it, it doesn't struggle it juice a lot faster than those two juicers and the even even the juicer cup is a lot bigger you know with those I would happen to like like um sometimes I would it felt as if I was having to kind of 
close up real fast and throw it in here and come back over here. But, but this is it's, it's, it's much bigger than the actual thing. You don't have to worry about that. So the Nova J2 Juicer, Dale from any any reviews. So far, I like it. That's my impression of it. It's, it, it's a great juicer. We'll see if it lasts. <laughs> Until next time, peace.